all right hello guys i know i said i was gonna do a video about um burning tokens and the liquidity pool i told somebody in the comment section i was gonna explain it so this is gonna be the video explaining burning tokens or well, ether address or burn address and liquidity pools what's the benefits of both and um which one is probably better or if both of them are just kind of the same so first we're going to start off with these little pictures that i created so we're going to show all right we're going to start off in the top left hand corner right here in green with the smiley face these are all the tokens in circulation so it could be one billion tokens it could be two billion tokens one trillion tokens or one quadrillion tokens i notice most tokens nowadays is one quadrillion tokens so say that's the one quadrillion tokens here if the owner in the of the token says hey for every buy or every sell so all the tokens that are bought or sold we're gonna put two percent of that money where the tax of that money so two percent of the tax that comes from buying or selling the tokens we're gonna burn that two percent of the money that we we got for the token um out of the tax so what they usually do is or what they do is say you bought a hundred tokens and you paid ten dollars tax say they using two percent of that ten dollars which would be like 20 cents i think or 10 cents so they would in turn take that 10 cents that they made off you buying or selling that token or those tokens and they would in turn buy some of the tokens from the circulation themselves and then they would in turn send that amount of token to a ether address or a burn address and once tokens are sent to a ether address or a burn address you can never get them back so just remember they are going to take a percentage of the tax that they collected on you buying or selling your tokens and they're going to buy extra tokens or buy some tokens um, out of circulation and then they're going to use their address and send it to the ether address or a burn address that's usually a address with all zeros all right so that explains that part so what are the benefits of um burning tokens all right so one thing that happens is the more people that buy and sell the bigger the um burn address gets so the more tokens will be in the token so the more transactions that happen the bigger and bigger the burn address gets or the ether address gets and when the the bigger and bigger the ether address or the burn address gets the tokens in tokens in cir circulation will always get smaller and smaller and smaller so the more tokens that get bought and sent to the e or burn address the less and the less tokens in circulation will get and the less tokens that are in circulation the price or the token price or value of the token will go up so that's why they burn tokens to get the tokens um in supply or circulation down so the price can go up because you know that the more the more um, tokens you have in circulation the less the price will be the less tokens you have in circulation the higher price will be just like anything in life if you have one trillion Honda Civics in circulation people are not gonna want to pay fifty thousand dollars for one because that's everybody got one but if you only have 20 Honda Civics in circulation, everybody's going to try and get one because only 20 are in circulation and the price of those Honda Civics will be way more. All right. So that explains the burn address. Let's go over to um, the liquidity pool. All right. The liquidity pool is where when the token is being created, the owners of the, um, the token will lock away liquidity so they'll put like a hundred thousand dollars worth of their tokens or it could be another valuable token like ethereum or any other token they can lock it away so that it facil facilitates buys and sells so right here um 
now this one explains it all right so what is a liquidity pool lock so when they lock away that hundred thousand dollars or one million dollars or two million dollars worth of liquidity or fifty thousand dollars of liquidity when you come here and say hey i'm going to buy some tokens your transaction is usually taken from the liquidity pool or the liquidity pool facilitates the buying of that token when you decide to sell your tokens you get money or you your transaction gets um authorized to the liquidity pool so say you're buying 50 dollars worth of tokens that will be um you're buying 50 dollars worth of tokens that will be faci facilitated by the liquidity pool if this got a hundred thousand dollars in it and you just buying five five dollars or five thousand dollars worth of tokens this will this liquidity pool will faci facilitate that five thousand dollars and usually when you buy and sell tokens some of the tax that's paid on that um buy or sell is usually put into the liquidity like two percent so say the liquidity is five um ten dollars is in the liquidity and you bought five dollars worth of tokens two percent of that is usually added to the liquidity which brings that up to like five dollars and twenty cents and if you buy or sell it does it both ways so if you buy and sell it adds some to the liquidity so the liquidity grows the more people buy and sell and this helps this really helps because on the next image you're gonna see that without a liquidity liquidity pool when you buy and or sell a token say i want there's no liquidity pool so if you i want to buy some tokens if i go out and say hey i want to buy a hundred to tokens or i want to sell uh, say i want to sell a hundred tokens or a hundred thousand dollars worth of a token or say all right a smaller number say i want to sell five thousand dollars worth of tokens there is no liquidity to take that money from to pay me for those tokens. So guess what's going to happen? When I want to sell my $5,000 worth of tokens, I'm going to in turn have to wait on other people to buy my tokens. So I can try to sell my tokens right now, but if there's not other people who pull together and say, hey, we're going to buy $5,000 worth of tokens, I will have to sit a day, two, three, a whole month or a year for that $5,000 to come in so I can sell all the tokens that I just tried to sell. With the liquidity pool, if I want to sell $5,000 worth of token out of $100,000, the liquidity pool is going to pay me for the $5,000 token and I'll just go my way. And you know they get their tax the liquidity pool goes up and other people who are buying the um pays their little tax the liquidity pool goes up so the liquidity pool is always valuable to any token and the longer the liquidity pool is locked for the better it is i think that kind of um explains the gist of it both of these um burning and liquidity pools are pros are better for a token because the liquidity pool ensures that people are able to buy and sell in an instant without having to wait for anybody to buy or sell or to buy their tokens or the same value of their tokens and the burn address burning um, tokens or sending them to a burn or eater address ultimately or in the long run raises the value or the price of a token I think that should explain everything with burning and liquidity pools. Um, thank you for watching my video and thank you guys for bringing me over a hundred um, subscribers. I think I'm currently at 112 subscribers. So before the end of December, I, I, thought, I think I told myself I'm going to try and get over a thousand subscribers, but I think I'm going to aim for half. I'm going to try and get over 500 subscribers before the end of December. And thank you guys for watching. And remember, anything you guys need me to answer or help you with, you can just put it in the comment section. And I'll always or try my best to make a video explaining anything or doing a review on different tokens. Um, I have to find a token to do either tonight or tomorrow morning. And um, you guys should get the notification 
if you are already subscribed so if you ain't subscribed please remember to subscribe and like this video and you can share it on your social media to give me the exposure and raise my um, subscriber count thank you for watching